Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome in to this tarot read for today, December 22nd. Wow, it's Tuesday. The end of the year is creeping up super fast. I hope everybody's being very safe um, and making safe decisions about meeting up with people and traveling and and all that. It's very tempting to go do some last minute partying, especially after Christmas and the you know familial gathering, family gathering holidays for the new year. I myself am getting out of town, getting out of Dodge for the new year. So I'm really excited for that. Just trying to finish everything up for this week as best I can and then and then go in and have some, have a little bit of freedom. <clears throat> I had a very nice experience last night um, at a sound bath for the winter solstice. I feel great. Today I feel just great. Very calm, not like this weekend, this past weekend. There's time for a nap again. Come to the edge. No place like home. But yeah, these two cards have shown up the last the last few times that I've been doing reads with this deck. 24, 36, and 50. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm really strongly getting with these cards as the theme of the reading. Someone's really being asked to literally come to the edge to everything you've learned in a period of time in the recent past that felt like taking a nap or any time you were working on something that had been sort of... to in your purview only, whatever personal um, goals you've been working toward, um, either without the help of others, with or without the help of others, but just that's sort of been on your, like your own personal path, that is being illuminated right now. It's saying, come to the edge. This is a message of trust. It's almost like wanting... You gotta like put it out there now. It's time to put it out there, essentially. Let's see. No place like home, this is a five card, right? It's 50, so five. Remember the last time it came up, what it said? I won't remember which reading it was. But no place like home is not about going back home as in where we are comfortable. No place like home is more about illuminating the light that shines within you. That is at times too uncomfortable to express to other people without some sort of filter. That's what this is saying. Come to the edge. Come to the edge of exploring what you're really all about. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that so much. <sighs> oh, hello. Yep. There you go. Transition transition is happening it is happening okay that one felt pretty good hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, too bad you can't see all over here. The Ten of Swords. Underneath. Yeah, this is about ending some sort of... Oh, I can't find the words right now. The end of some destructive cycle. I mean, this is a, a thought. This could be a negative thought pattern. This could be self-talk. This could be... Anything that was sort of self-detrimental or detrimental period. Tr the swords represent our tr truth and um, knowledge, our minds, the nervous system, all of that stuff. So this is about conquering anxiety once and for all. This is about stepping into your truth more. This is about... Well, I'm also sort of getting like, because this almost looks like acupuncture, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying like, it's time for fucking release. Okay. That's these deep breaths I'm taking. Yeah. It's just a reminder to like breathe through this uncomfortable thing. There's another five. Thank you. Thank you universe for reminding us that change is difficult. Oy, oy, oy. Oh no, the ghost came out in the middle. Mm. <laughs> Great. Okay, this is good, guys. This is actually really good today. But look, there is no more hiding from this ghost. This ghost showed up front and center. What ghost stories are you telling yourself to keep yourself comfortably scared? Uh, Venus is in Capricorn. I think any reading you watch from now until the end of January will be saying this like on the daily. So I don't feel bad for it. I'll just, the point is, <sighs> everything's under a microscope right now, especially the things where we associate value. So, I mean, from love to money, right? Like all of anything that we value most in our lives is coming under a microscope. But what does that really mean? It means that our values can change. Our commitments are changing. Um, how we want to show up in the world is changing based on aligning with that which we value most. These two cards right here are indicative that it is time to put away all of the negative cycles, the negative patterns, the negative behaviors that aren't allowing you to step into alignment with the things you value. Because it's too uncomfortable. Well, what if, what if people don't agree with me? What if, what if they don't want the same things? I guess that's too bad, right? But you have to do, you have to, you have to do this for yourself. The world is here. So this is definitely ending. It's very uncomfortable. And, and I think we'd like to all shy away from it. We'd always like to be like, well, what do you mean, universe? I don't understand. I think you understand. <laughs> Page of Cups. Expect the unexpected. It's our subconscious. What is our, What is your subconscious really trying to tell you right now? Because the, the work is worth it. Um, I see some conflict here between, yes, wanting this power, wanting this, wanting to claim, you know, the truth for yourself. Um, and to share it with others, you know, like to, to, to embody that for yourself, to like step into that. And, but then I also see that in conflict with really wanting to shy away or like not feeling ready or just wanting to hibernate some more. That is the challenge. That is the conflict to overcome. I think it's, it's all about, oh, this ghost. <laughs> this ghost. I love this deck. It's Northern Animal Tarot. Oh gosh. Okay, well, in the near future, we have the Nine of Cups, 
the lovers, the empress. Okay, Venus, hello. I just said Venus. <laughs> lovers, Gemini. I mean, it's a lover's year coming up 2022. Just because if you add all the numbers up in the year, it comes to six. And we have number six card is the lovers. What I'm seeing here in the near future is that this, this next year is really going to be about, again, aligning yourself with the things you value most so that you can be in a position of greater manifestation towards those ends, to, towards those means. If you stay in this place of, um, if you keep returning back to the same cycles over and over again and expect a different result, or if you approach, you know, at some point your response needs to change. Like the things that you've learned to survive to get to this place will not get you to this next, the next place where you need to go. So this is about learning maybe some new skills, some new things. There's the thing though, you can't, you can't prepare for this. You'll watch some other readers online and, and I'm pulling now from some messages that I, I have been getting this morning and over the last few days. You will not know the way because you are making the way. It's, a, it's the trailblazer sort of energy here. The only way to do it is to do it. Like you can't prepare some way by like, acquiring a skill and now and then saying well now I'm prepared nope unfortunately it doesn't really work that way my goodness this is an extremely positive read what else can we do 12 minutes. <clears throat> this will be my shortest video yet. So why don't we do a little bit of clarifications? Show me the 10 of swords, please. King of Pentacles, page of wands. No, <laughs> the page of wands. God damn, page of wands. I'm just kidding. I understand him now. Like I know, I know now. We have the king of King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Sasquatch, and the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. So, the Five of Pentacles in this deck, I mean, so this is about scarcity mindset like a lack so I, I totally get it uh, how <clears throat> one can lead to the other if we stay in this this lack men mentality we will it'll be difficult or impossible to achieve this ten of swords here this this final this you know the surmounting of this obstacle but this is in our, this is here, right? This is the present energy of this is what we're dealing with now. So that's why if this week or the previous week has felt very heavy for you, that's why. There is a lesson here for sure. What I'm seeing here is the lesson is something about, again, look at this. King of Pentacles is about uh, power, generosity. I mean, it could be, you know, some kind of resource again here. The King of Pentacles has enough to share with everybody. Page of Wands is about seeing the potential. And and Sasquatch is about wild is good, yes, but how wild is too wild? In this case, I don't think, I don't think that you could be wild enough here because what's, look at all, look at all this positive energy wanting to, get to this 
this energy of the Five of Pentacles, you've really got to go kind of like Hulk it, I feel. Just go for it. Because you're not the only one who wants to move on. This is about generosity. This is about seeing the needs of others and, and being willing to share in some real way. Page of Wands, you know, talk about optimism. Um, potential inspiration. What the Page of Wands lacks in grounding, the King brings. The King of Pentacles has brought. We gotta do a little bit of mixing here, a little bit of alchemy. Like, bring these two together to really, to really force out this negativity. That is how this cycle will end. Totally make is in line with this message from the earlier read of come to the edge of what is your your light. What is the light that you're shining on others? Hmm. All right, show me uh, the conflict. Show me five of wands. Judgment. Two of pentacles. Oh. <sighs> Queen of pentacles and the sun. I mean, not the sun. Uh, summer, another special card of this deck. So remember I was saying the conflict between this hi hibernation and, and wanting to, and the, and the Queen of Swords, you know, like this, this discernment, this understanding of like, yes, I know that this is my work, this is my truth, this is what I want. There's a limbo between wanting to choose the higher path and choosing the comfortable path, the one that resists, the one that wants to take another rest the one who says I'm not ready <sighs> so we have to clarify this conflict judgment two of cups queen of cups and summer so the summer card is interesting because it is about like yes there's life all around I think that this is a very optimistic card and it's very energetic but the sun can also burn and so there's these trees on the side to to remember right there as a reminder that when it all becomes too much you can take shade from the sun and just hang out in the in the canopy this is embodying this conflict i think because it's not an actual fists up conflict this is how much energy do i really have to push myself forward. I think every, a lot of people are stepping out of their comfort zone right now. They're really living it. They're really living it. But what is it trying to show you? What is it trying to tell you about how you show up for that situation, for yourself in that situation, for that relationship, for that, you know, um, it's trying to show you context. There's a lot of context here. You know, we're, we're, we're meant to, you know, choose <laughs> lofty goals so that we can become the version of ourselves that can manifest them. So don't stay comfortably scared. Be the queen of swords. Queen of swords is also like smart business moves and discernment. You know, like making the decision for the right reason. Sure, she can be a little cold, but that's only because she knows what she wants and she knows what she doesn't want. She knows what's not for her. So in that case, it is pretty balanced. Anyway, so back to this summer card, this conflict. I, I feel like someone is sitting there being like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve love. Let me look at this. This is a qu th so much, so much cup energy, which is about of our about our emotions. It's telling me either I don't deserve this connection, or I'm not prepared for it. There's a lot of fear possibly around a connection, but there is a lot of love, and there's, I mean. 
Look at this, um, the moon phase on her cup there. This is intuition. This is wisdom. Whatever, whatever this connection is about, I think is very powerful. And maybe that's why there's so much resistance, so much conflict. However that resonates for you. I mean, this is interesting. There's a lot of feelings around whether or not, you know, a person is capable um maybe they're feeling not so balanced right now right whatever this connection is to you or maybe this is you well i mean look and this is this is a partnership right this is the the truth of the soul's exchange how are you showing up in your relationships like look at that right judgment is about assessment how are we what are our boundaries what are what do we value what do we tell other people that we value this is about queen of cups is about being connected to that which we care for mo most she is a bit like overly romantic i will say as well so you know if you blend the queen of cups and the queen of swords you get some pretty good balanced energy like, I will not shy away from my true feelings about a situation, um, but I'm all, you know, and, not but, but and, I'm not going to back down as, as, you know, this is something worth standing up for, I feel like. I mean, that's yourself. You are worth standing up for, so don't be, don't be trying to hide away in this, in this house. When the universe is asking you to come outside. Okay. Um, <sighs> this <laughs> 2021 is not going easy. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's so true. I, I feel it and I, I will want to validate that for whoever else is like what is going on yeah i know i know so what are you gonna do i mean this this is all the validation i need the world a major cycle is closing out this is about closure this is about closing a chapter but also a new one is starting what kind of ghost stories are you t taking with yourself that you're taking with you into this new chapter of your life I think you might surprise yourself how much you've actually changed in the last couple of years. If you're just willing to like look at yourself, like sit and listen. Listen to what your heart's trying to tell you. Listen to what your mind's trying to tell you. What is your subconscious trying to tell you? And so the world also reminds us that really there's nothing left to do besides truly experience the closing of the cycle and the new one opening like there's i mean I'm not saying just like sit with your hands folded and do nothing for till new year's eve but i think you know what i mean there's we can all just relax okay <laughs> try to find some peace try to find some balance just relax like focus on yourself don't force things to happen if you heal yourself, if you look at what, what you're doing. Oh, I read this on the wall last night where I was at. It said, um, if you care for those around you, heal those around you and people from afar will come to see you or something like that. You see, like there's like there's to me, that means if you take care of yourself, like what is immediately around you, you nurture that, which is in your immediate sphere of influence. The things that we think that we want that are far away from us, that are unattainable, will somehow become closer, become more attainable. It will just simply come to you. 
That's what this is saying, okay? Uh, show me the ghost. Ooh. Ghosty. Seed. This came out yesterday in the center. Seed. Uh, uh, half moon. <clears throat> five of swords. Another five card. Nine of wands. <clears throat> Um, the half moon, or is it, I mean, do they call it, or the quarter moon, sorry, quarter moon, um, indicates gratitude. Okay. I think gratitude, the energy of gratitude here for the lessons, for who you had to be. The, the person that you had to become to get through what, you know, your experiences up until this point, like have gratitude for your resilience. Okay. That is the path toward starting something new here. Now is the time where you can literally change how you show up in the world. The energy right now is really fixated on how do I, how do I say this? How do I change with the world, right? So like as time goes by and our environment changes, the world changes we can choose to show up differently. We can choose to um, change a pattern simply by be, simply because, well, just because this is different now, I must I must look at this differently. Not, um, um, oh man, I'm having such a hard time with my words. I guess a good metaphor is like, be like water, be adaptable, be flexible. Don't say I've done this this has been working for me up until this point. So that's what I'll just keep doing. It'll keep me safe. It'll keep me protected. No, no. Cause what wants, I mean, there's like really big things coming here. I mean, if you want to work with this energy of like manifesting your dreams here, there's the time is now to step out of this like negative cycle, have gratitude for who you were in the past and to move on. And that starts with the with the energy of gratitude. Um, all right, let's pick a card from the third row. We got the nine of cups. Six, I mean, sorry, lovers and the empress. Um, also, I want to show you the empress card. You want you see how she has like this wheat here? You wanna know what I found yesterday? I found this on the ground, this one. And then I went for another walk at the park because I had found some dude's credit card on the ground. Like I guess his wallet had been stolen. I found three of his credit cards just in a pile on the ground uh, by the gym where I go and um, I found him on LinkedIn. So I took a walk to return it to him and then I found these and I already knew I was like oh yeah this is gonna be lovely for this altar maybe I should just put some here or I don't know I'll redecorate again for the new year <sighs> but look there's I think synchronicities came out as a card previously there's signs everywhere you look that there are positive changes happening and you don't want to be that person that's sort of stuck in the past and like just really not able to see how um, you can you can improve the you can help you can do your part improving the world by just simply healing yourself it's not it's not a bad thing to you know wait to show up for others until you've done your work I think that's preferred Healing yourself is 
you are, you know, you are part of the collective and healing yourself is healing the collective. When one, are, one is healed, all are healed. So yeah, let's, um, I guess that answers my question. Let's look at the Empress. What really wants to grow? What wants to be nurtured in the new year? of cups messages the owls i love the owls man and these five and seven of swords have been coming up like no other please stop <laughs> so to clarify right we have the four of cups owls which is another special card of this deck Whoop. owls messages Um, either here in the near future, in the new year, you'll be getting a literal letter or some kind of message or someone will be reaching out to you. And this, I think that this bodes well. I feel like you've been waiting for some kind of opportunity here because we have the six of wands. It's about public acknowledgement, victory, celebration. I feel like you've been waiting for a sign that your patience has been, will be rewarded. Like the four of, four of cups, like your, I mean, four of cups is sort of apathy, but I also see it as like protecting. There's a bit of, you know, why do we act apathetic towards things? It's um, usually to protect ourselves from something or maybe we're disillusioned or dis, um, disenchanted simply. So if you've been feeling disenchanted, like I don't really care to take this opportunity, I'm not, you know, this is, this is supposed to be the ace of cups that's being offered, you know, this, this emotional fulfillment, this love, if you will. And even the three of cups down here, right there, because three plus one is four. This is about celebration and community. And so, and, and this fawn here is just sort of like hanging back, waiting. This is all of us at home during COVID, by the way. <laughs> Not really able to participate in the world in the way that we used to. Not really able to participate in the world the way that we want to. We're sort of just waiting for a message that all will be okay. This is never going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. Like things are not going to go back to normal. This is the trailblazing energy of the present moment because, you know, experts or no experts, leaders or no leaders, we, <laughs> world leaders, world leaders, um, agency leaders, like government, lead, whatever whatever like we can we have to exist in this world that is humans we our ancestors built unfortunately but this is about taking what's working and and leaving the rest i mean when it comes to like your practical day-to-day -day, how are you showing up in the world take what works and leave the rest nurture what wants to grow and forget about the things that are that are rotting that are falling apart it's not <laughs> That should be your sign, okay? At all given times, there is <clears throat> growth and there is rot. There's good and then there's bad. You can't have one without the other. But it is a choice to, hold, to hang back or to show up. So if you're getting this message to show up now and in the new year, do it. Do it, but but be be honest about what's working and what's not working. Because <clears throat> it's this is what's you're you're meant to be, you're really meant to go towards balancing your inner self here. The lovers, what a wonderful idea, romantic idea of the lovers. But this is really about um, your own being your own soulmate. This is about 
balancing your inner dualities, your divine masculine, divine feminine. If you've never watched a twin flame reading that reads the energies between the divine masculine and divine feminine, they're very interesting. We have both within all of us. And when we talk about soulmates, which was the previous read, right, a video that I did most recently, soulmates can embody one or the other, and we're leaning towards one or the other. But ultimately, soulmates are pointing us towards this balance within ourself. So at any given point, we can, we can do this for ourselves, we can show up for ourselves. <clears throat> But yeah, man, that previous read was just like, here are all your soulmates. <laughs> Choose. No, 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 no. Um, you can go back and watch that on your own time. I'm not going to go there. <clears throat> Finally, there's the nine of cups. Look how many nines were here. One, two, actually just the two. Nines are also indicative of cycles, patterns. So like, what are your love cycles? This is also a wish fulfillment card if you're making a wish right now. This is just a positive omen to me that the things that we wish for most do have the power, you have the power to, to bring that to light. But you know how? Only if you're, you're coming from a balanced state and you're really committed to, to this thing growing. This is, this is the energy of love, the vibration of love, not Hurt and betrayal, scarcity, repeated patterns, cycles, winning at all costs, ghost stories, all of this stuff, these things, hibernation, waiting, no more waiting, these four of cups, gone, this is, we're packing this up, we're putting this, I don't know, over here, and all of these other great things here, the word, oh, wait, conflict. We gotta take this conflict out. The rest can stay and, and work with it. It's not gonna be fun. I mean, it might be fun, but it'll, I think it'll be uncomfortable for some time until there's this new groove. So enjoy the ride, I say. Thanks for watching this video. Um, have a good day. <laughs>